The Balpew system of uh, Denora is one of the innovative systems introduced back in the early 2000s following the uh, Palace Water Convention. The technology is based around electrochlorination, based uh, on the side stream principle, a principle that has been replicated by many other makers. Uh, at the current uh, time, the uh, the NORA application, it is with the US COSCA that we anticipate completion of the type approval testing within the next few weeks. With regards to uh, the selection of technologies, it is paramount to understand that the selecting a vendor who also has the capability to provide you with technical support is very important. Technologically speaking, there is a lot of solutions available and the Denora solution provides significant advantages relative to OPEX. That means that when you acquire an asset, you do have the opportunity to save money in the long term in terms of running the uh, technology and the ballast water management system. In the short term, the, uh, the market is actually moving and unfolding relatively slowly at present. We do see a number of rather bigger operators beginning to uh, develop um, RFQs and are making decisions early. However, there is the vast majority of uh, operators that have not even begun to consider seriously the implications of delaying their projects. At this point, I would like to almost say to the industry, you have to begin to consider the installation of ballast water management very seriously. Begin with your planning, because without planning, many of the projects could in fact fail. My wish list is very, very simple. I would like to see a level playing field. I would like to see that all the regulations are adhered to by all flag states. And there is a, an equivalency between the IMO and the US Coast Guard. Uh, fundamentally, at present, the uh, multiplicity of regulations is introducing an element of confusion to the ship owners and therefore it makes investment decisions difficult and the implementation of this very important environmental regulation hard to handle. The, the, there are issues related to, uh, to bottlenecks and uh, we are becoming uh, on a daily basis surprised by the bottlenecks we hear about. Some years ago we considered that uh, the bottleneck will, will be with the uh, vendors and, and makers of certain components such as filters, power supplies and the like. In uh, other circumstances there was a discussion with regards to the availability of technical expertise and surveyors or classification societies. But one that I have become aware in recent weeks is the fact that many of the engineering companies involved in the upstream engineering for retrofit projects specifically are already filled to capacity. And therefore that is an additional problem we could potentially be facing into the future.